Okay, so in this video, we are going to go through the process of filling lab sample bottles um, for the Madison Stream Team. And depending on the site you're visiting, you'll have either two or three different types of bottles to fill. Every site will have a bottle with a white cap and a yellow cap, and at certain sites, there'll also be a red cap bottle to test for arsenic. And um, you should have the bottles uh, come to you completely filled out, except for um, the time collected. And that's something you want to fill out before you get in the creek and get the bottles wet. And um, you'll want to fill in the time collected so that it matches the time that's filled in on the site visit form um, for the site that you're at. Um, regardless of the cap color, the process for properly filling the bottles is all the same, um, except for the field blanks, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, you want to, at your site, find a spot with good flow where you're not in an eddy or any sort of backwater situation and where you're upstream of any of your stream team mates who might be um, kicking up sediment in the water. And you want to face upstream to collect your samples and you start by triple rinsing your bottle. So you just want to get a little bit of water in there, put the cap on and shake it and dump it behind you so that anything you're rinsing out of the bottle doesn't end up in your final sample. And you want to do that three times. your bottle is triple rinsed and you're ready to take your sample, you want to put it down underneath the um, surface of the water uh, while it's inverted and then turn it up so that you're filling it with water um, that's coming from beneath the surface. And then you want to screw on the cap firmly and take it to the shore to preserve it if necessary. All right, once your bottles are filled from the stream, um, it's time to preserve them. And as I mentioned before, we have uh, white and yellow caps at every site, and at some sites, a red cap as well. Um, and provided you've filled out the time and the label is filled out completely, you're done with what you need to do with the white cap bottle. It doesn't need preservatives, so you can just store it in your cooler on ice. And the red and yellow cap bottles need to be preserved. And um, the lab makes it really easy to know which uh, preservative to use with which bottle. The yellow labeled um, preservatives go in the yellow cap and the red cap preservative go in your red cap sample. And um, to properly preserve the sample, you just wanna make sure there's a bit of headspace in your sample bottle and you just want to take uh, the contents of the preservative bottle and make sure that you've completely poured it into your sample. And then uh, tightly replace the cap and then just gently invert it once or twice to um, disperse the preservative throughout your sample. And then um, just as a self check, we like to put an X on the top of the cap once it's preserved. That way uh, it takes out the guesswork uh, if you're sitting with a lot of bottles, you know which ones you've preserved and which you haven't. And after you've preserved it, you want to mark the preserved box on your data sheet. And then these are ready to be stored on ice as well.